here's a question. What would com computers and computation look like if it was invented before electricity? So this is boilerplate, and boilerplate is sort of an attempt to answer that question. Instead of using uh, electricity for logic gates, boilerplate uses steam and steam power and air pressure. The basic idea is that we're deep underground, and deep underground we can dig tunnels in the earth. These tunnels can either be pressurized or depressurized with air, and we can put into these tunnels little shuttles. Uh, a shuttle is kind of like a railway car, and it'll get pulled or pushed based on um, how much air pressure is pushing against it. So there's one extra trick that shuttles can do, which is that shuttles can have air gaps inside them which let air pass like perpendicular. So for example, um, this is an air gap, and this air gap is going to let us put a, an air pump here. And I can put a shuttle here, and that's going to get pushed up by the um, by the air pump. But of course, if this um, if I make this negative, then this shuttle is going to move left one. Now that this this air like this vertical shaft is going to get blocked by this shuttle. So if I put another shuttle here, it's not going to move. And then if I make this positive, then it connects the air tunnel and it can move. Um, so this is pretty cool. And this act turns out this actually lets us do almost anything that we could ever want to do with a computer. So um, for example, I'm going to make this a grill, and grill just doesn't let um, grills don't let shuttles pass, but they let air pass. And then I'm going to make this negative and this positive. Um, and what we now have is a an inverter. So if this is negative, then it pushes, and if this is positive, then it pulls, which is of course the opposite of what we would expect if I hooked something up to this shuttle directly. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and of course, I can like you know do lots of fun things. Like I could take this and attach it to itself. And now when this is positive, it's going to send negative into the tunnel, which pulls it, and in turn makes this positive. Um, but of course, if uh, actually, uh, that's what I want, um, but of course if this goes negative, this tunnel becomes positive, which makes this tunnel negative, which makes this get pulled. So I've got two knots kind of connected to each other, which is pretty sweet. Um, another sort of slightly more silly thing that I could do, of course, is I could hook this up to itself. And now I have an inverter, like an oscillator, which because it just constantly negates itself. Um, I could build a sim similar or a simpler oscillator just like this. If I have a shuttle here um, and a negative, then this is going to, when it's in the bottom position, pull up, and when it's in the top position, it'll pull down. Um, there's one final thing that you need to know with boilerplate, which is uh, like one final piece, which is the bridge. Um, bridges are really simple. All they do is, um, ordinarily, if I had a tunnel like this, everything's going to get negatively pressurized. Um, with a bridge, it's going to isolate the vertical section from the horizontal section. So I could have a positive pump here, and I can now use this positive pump to push down, and this negative pump here will pull in. Um, they won't interfere with each other. So that's all there is to boilerplate, but um, I should show you a couple of the cool things you can build with it. So this is a uh, binary counter. It uses exactly the same concept as we saw a minute ago with the oscillator. Um, this shuttle here, if I apply negative here, will oscillate up and down. And every second pump, which is to say when this shuttle is in the down position, it's going to oscillate this next one, and so on. So if I do this, we end up getting counting in binary. Um, and just as you'd expect, if I put shuttles in all of these tunnels, Each one wants to go twice as far as the one before it, which is really cool. Um, this is another thing that I built. So this is a, uh, I call it a push-pull elevator. If I build a big tunnel like this and put a shuttle in it, then this elevator will pull the shuttle all the way to the end of the tunnel, and when it gets to the end, it switches the switch, and then it pulls it all the way back again, um, which is really neat. Um, so this is just a couple of the random little things that you can build with this. Um, I started building a CPU with it, so to give you a sense of the kind of nonsense that you can do with this, although it's really chuggy, um, this is the start of my CPU. Um, these are bus lines, and the bus lines are trying to send instructions and um, control which memory registers are going to get activated. Uh, but this is not complete. In fact, no one's built a CPU using this, although it's eminently possible. And there's all sorts of other nonsense things that you can build with this that... Um, that probably I have no idea about at all. Um, so this is Boilerplate. Uh, please have a play with it. Um, the link to the actual hosted site is in the comments. 
Um, I'm really excited to see what everyone builds with it, and I've been looking forward to showing this up to the world for a long time. Uh, cool. Um, have fun. All right, bye.